Uh, this video is going to be about factor strings and prime factorization. And before we get started, I just would like to um, remind you what a prime number is. And a prime number is a number, if we did uh, found the factors, for example, 7, a prime number is a number that only has two factors. Okay. 1 and then whatever the number is. Another thing that I want you to keep in mind is that 1 is neither prime nor composite. 1 is neither prime nor composite. So starting off with the factor strings, um, we'll use 24 as an example. A factor string is basically a string of factors multiplied together that equal the target number, in this case 24. It could be um, as small as two numbers, so 2 times 12, that's a factor string of 24, or it can be as long as you can get it to be without using the number 1. Remember, we can't use number 1. So we could keep 2 times, well another way of saying 12 is 2 times 6, so this factor string has three factors in it. We could keep the first two twos, and then another name for six is two times three. So we could have um, two times two times two times three is um, the longest factor string you could get for 24. And there, there's other ones that we could use as well. We do three times eight, Four times six. There's a there's quite a list that we could make. Um, some numbers have more than others, obviously. Um, this is how you find the factor factor strings. And another thing, just like we learned in a previous lesson, the turnaround rule. It doesn't matter which order you put it in. It doesn't matter which order you put it in. It's always it will always equal the same amount. So if you had, for example, 2 times 6 times 2, these are the exact same factor strings. It's just written in a different order. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Okay, now we're going to talk about prime factorization. And we're going to start with 24 again. In prime factorization is breaking down a number into its prime factors. Um, and then one reminder before we start this one, 2 is the only even prime number. 2 is prime. And as you're working on this, um, you should have a list from, from class of all the um, prime numbers uh, under 100. So this that might be something helpful to use with this. Uh, but basically we're going to make something kind of looks like a Christmas tree. Okay, or a tree. Prime factorization. We're going to start, we're going to make an upside down V. And then under that we're going to find two factors of 24. Can be any numbers. Um, there is no right or wrong answer to start with because you'll always get to the correct answer. So, let's start with 4 times 6. And as we look at those, 4 is a composite number, 2 times 2. 6 is a composite number. So, we're going to break that down into the factors of 4 and 6. 4 is 2 times 2 times 6, which is 2 times 3. There we go. So as we look at this, 2 we just talked about is a prime number, the only even prime number. So we're going to go ahead and circle those. And 3 is also a prime number, so we're going to circle those. So if we're going to write the prime, factors, prime factorization of 24, we would write 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 
or we talked about this previously, an exponent. We talked about squaring a number, which we use an exponent of 2. In this case, our the, the factors is 2, and there's three 2's. So we're going to put an exponent up here. 2 to the third power times 3. This 3 up here, it doesn't mean 2 times 3. It means 2 times 2 times 2. So if we, this is what it would look 2 times 2 times 2 equals 2 to the third power, or another way of saying that is 2 cubed. And just to show it doesn't matter which one you start with, we'll do another one here. 24, 3 times 8. 3 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle it. And we're going to break down 8, which would be 2 times 4. 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle that. And 4 is 2 times 2. Those are both prime. So again, we have the same same answer. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, or 2 to the third power times 3. And let's do one more example here. Uh, for this one, let's do the number... Let's do 64. So 64 is 8 times 8. 8 is composite. So we we'll make our branches off of there. 8 is 2 times 4 times 2 times 4. Again, we circle our prime numbers. not something you have to do. I just like to do that to remind me that there's nothing more that I can do with that. And then um, 4 is 2 times 2. And this 4 is 2 times 2. I'm going to circle those. Since there's nothing more to do, I found all the prime numbers of the prime factorization. So I write down all of the numbers that are circled. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 64. 2 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. Times 2 is 32. Wait a second here, I made a mistake. Okay, I found my mistake. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64. Or, 2... Our factor is 2, and there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them. So we could write it 2 to the 6th power. And one other thing, if you notice with all the prime factorizations, 1 was never used. So you can't use 1 with factor strings, and you can't use 1 with prime factorization. So there's how you do factor strings and prime factorizations. See you later.